Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Quo and I'm actually here with Heaven Sent from RG. Heaven Sent, how you doing bud? Pretty good, how are you man? Doing most excellent. So I'm sitting down with Heaven Sent, uh, we're doing this interview for Rhodes Entertainment or the REL, so let's just hop right into it. Uh, first thing I wanted to ask you man was how you got started with Insurgency. Um, I played a lot of the original Insurgency back in the mod and Source uh, off and on and then for this game, I honestly didn't have much hope for it, or I wanted it to be good, didn't know anything about it, and Lucky had said, hey, there's competitive, come on, and that night I bought it. As soon as I heard, hey, there's competitive here, I came. That's awesome. So basically, just hearing that there was a uh, competitive scene kind of enticed you to join up? For sure. So um, that kind of leads me actually into my next question, because I was going to ask you uh, when you joined RG, and yeah... Just basically, like, what kind of competitive experience did you have, like, previously in FPSs? So, like, we'll um, start off, just kind of walk me through how you became a part of RG, and then also kind of run me through your history of uh, competitive games. For sure. So, originally, I was on, like, different teams. I played with, like, Sticky Bandits, with Lucky, just kind of getting into the game. Uh, played a couple uh, weeks of DGL with uh, CYG, actually. And then ended up, and with, from then, from the beginning... When I met Synthetic, right as I started playing, we had already talked about it. We knew eventually we were going to team together. Uh, no matter what team we ended up on, we were teaming together. And then everybody kind of ended up being off of a team. Things lined up. Started playing with uh, Dinked, who had an RG already, but they just kind of played for fun. Started pushing it and decided to go into the tournament. Dope. All right. And then uh, branching off of that, did you play any FPSs competitively prior to uh, Insurgency? I mean, I don't really count as much back in the day, but I mean, I played COD 4 on Xbox, and I don't count my console days as much, right. but I played Halo, COD 4, things like that. I uh, played a little bit of Pro Mod. Okay. Um, Counter-Strike, got pretty pretty big into that, put way too many hours into it. Uh, went to Battalion until that game kind of... Battalion? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Loved that game. Loved It was just set up just like the old CODs. You know, of course, unfortunately, everything goes downhill sometimes. And then things don't work out, and the game kind of took the downward spiral and uh, ended up here. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. It was a. Uh... No, actually, I've... that's actually a common thread I hear. A lot of people come from, like, either the, the Counter Strike or the Siege, and then they either get bored of it or there's something else that kind of comes up, and they end, up... they end up at Sandstorm one way or another. For sure. I actually just tried Siege out uh, within the last week. And not going to lie, the abilities, like I played Overwatch hit, you know, Grandmaster and Overwatch and whatnot, does not change the fact that those abilities are confusing the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't know how guys, I don't not know how people do it on Siege. I can gun skill, I got that. But busting through walls, blow my mind. <laughs> not about it, you're not about it. <laughs> yeah, I could try, but hey, I'm not used to being shot through a little bitty hole in the wall that somebody made. I respect that. So, um... Yeah, so I'm just going to jump right into it then, uh, moving away from Overwatch and Siege and all that. So, obviously, we just played the first REL tournament, and RG finished second place in no small part thanks to, like, your contributions. Um, and you were able to deliver, honestly, some of the best highlights that we have uh, recorded or at least have been sent to us. So how did you feel about the tournament all in all? Like, just give me a rundown. Um, at first, I was, I, like, to be honest, at first I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Um, mainly because it was a beta tournament. We all knew it. They were trying it out, seeing how it went. Um, it has the tournament itself, to speak on like the way it was ran, things like that. I think they did the best they could on the first time. I mean, there's going to be growing pains. That From that aspect, everybody had times where I was like, man, this is, doesn't make any sense, or I was irritated, or I was mad at something, because it wasn't perfect. But after I sat down and thought about it, it was not going to be perfect. It's the first time they're running things, you know, they did good. It, it, it actually went really well compared to other tournaments I played in who was with tournament organizi organizers for a long time. Like They've ran 15, 20 tournaments. I've had bigger problems than big name, I'm going to name any names, but big name tournaments than I have in this <laughs> one. So, uh, um, coming like that, it was awesome. The competition, like I said, we didn't know where we were going to place. Did the competition I mean, surprise you or did it kind of hit you where you thought? Um surprisingly it was like a mix um that was the first time that we had ever been put in a, a situation where we just got smacked uh we 
our scrims were going insane. But the problem was a lot of the big name teams, you know, we were nobodies. Nobody knew who we were. Um, There's a couple teams that, you know, knew the players and they saw us playing together and we'd scream against some of the teams. But a lot of the Division One teams, we'd never scrimmed against. Not once. Uh, wow. That was the first That was the first time I ever seen flashbangs play with that tournament. Wow, um, okay. Yeah, we had no idea what to expect there. And going into it, you know, we, we thought it was like, hey, we're good, but we haven't experienced that level of play. We don't know how we're going to work. You know how it's going to work. We had just finally scrimmed BDB. It was like the night before the – it was either two nights or the night before – the tournament because they saw we were in it we saw we were, they were in it we we're like hey you know we got to get some kind of practice so we finally got somebody in the d1 scene to scrim us and once we saw that happen we were kind of tossed up in the air we're like hey we might be able to do good at this but <laughs> we had no idea <laughs> right so considering the fact you didn't really have that much prac time uh with the against those types of teams uh does that make you more impressed with your performance or do you still feel like uh, you should have come through and won it. Um, no. When I, when I look back at it, and even now, like you know, before I was like, "Oh man, we could have won that a hundred percent." Looking back at it, to be honest, I don't think we were ready for flashbangs. I mean, it was clear by the gameplay. There's no excuses that can be made. We just were not ready. I mean, we had two weeks of practice before that, before this tournament, and we th- we thought we were, we knew we were gonna do okay. Our goal was to get out of the, the group stages. Okay. If we okay. got out, of, as soon as we got out of group stages, we were excited. And I literally, not going to lie, I had text message synthetic that that night after we got off, and I was like, we're not beating BDB. <laughs> Just in my head, I was like, <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing it. And then right after we did, he uh, he roasted me pretty good. <laughs> chat, let everybody know that I'd say, because you know, he didn't want to bring it up to everybody else, and I didn't want to bring it up to everybody else. Well, of course because, not. You know, you don't want to get, you know, that mentality going. There's no way we can do it. But, like, I, I told him, I was like, I want to play my hardest. But, man, I don't think we can do it. I mean, but and you did, though. We did. It was we a close did. game. It was an exciting matchup, too. Like It was. I probably got – I was I was very pleased with that BDB. I was, I was happy with it. Beyond the, the clips and whatnot, which is by far that clip I got from that BDB map, uh, match – Oh yeah, you're you're a right I've proper ever. hacker now, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually <laughs> got a couple people on like Instagram and stuff saying that I was hacking, and you know what? That makes me feel like I'm an actual gamer now. It's a sense of validation, right? If you're not it being is. called a hacker, you're not trying hard enough, right? Yeah, you're not good. And I'm not, <laughs> I don't think I'm like amazing, but like you're nobody if you're not being called a hacker. Right. <laughs> so okay, so I mean, it was very successful. Yeah. It was a very successful event for you guys, all in all, and for you. So going into like this next event, which is on April the 27th, I believe, um, what are your goals personally as an individual player, and how do you think the team is going to fare with the new competition coming in, like Veritas and potentially Blue, etc.? Um, my goal personally is just to do better than I did as an individual in the first tournament. Um. If the team, it kind of goes to, you know, hand in hand. If the team doesn't do as good, then I failed somewhere. Uh, that's just the way I look at it. If the team does not, you know, perform as good. And with bigger talent coming in, that's going to be more pressure. You know, it's just harder to do. But if we can't get top three, at least, you know, if we go out the first day, hey, that's that's a failure. Uh, where, where I stand now, even with the new competition coming in, if we don't hit playoffs, that's a huge failure. So you're aiming for at least uh, semifinals, like third place, pe- for sure. at least the third place. Yeah, I'm looking at it now, no matter what the situation, I don't care who comes into the game, if we don't hit top four every single tournament, something's wrong. Okay. That sounds like a solid goal, <laughs> to be yeah. honest. Because from what I've seen, and, you know, playing with people in pugs or playing with people in like matchmaking anything if our team play can't do it then we got to make changes there's a problem uh there's a couple maps that i'm confident on there's our biggest i think our biggest problem is certain maps so there's certain maps that people pick against us and we have an issue we struggle um which we're working on currently you know we've been talking about it trying to find out what's going on right right how to adapt but I'm confident that even, you know, even against the best team, top two teams, there are certain maps that when we play them, 
you know, they're not they're not know how to react to certain things we can do. I we've practiced that. it, we've in housed it, things like that. We've actually found a couple things on some maps, depending on how the map pool I know this supposed to be expanded. We we're talking about expanding the map pool. That's very there's possible. Certain there's certain things on certain maps that if they're added into it, I'm very confident on them. I'm crossing my fingers that there's a few maps, and if so, we definitely have some pocket picks ready. Okay. Well, that's good. That's, that's I mean, that's good for you guys. It's not so good for the other teams, right? But yeah. uh, that's how the competition Hopefully. goes. It's all about building teams into actual machines and organizations and bringing more strategy to the competition, right? We wanted to see the best teams making the best decisions to play the best insurgency possible. And uh, honestly, with the teams that we have showing up and the kind of success that we had for this first event, which is kind of a surprise, uh, I think we're I think we're on path to get it, man. And uh, I'm really glad that you were able to sit down and have a chat with me, man. Uh, good luck to both you and uh, the team going into this next event. And we're looking forward to seeing more highlights from you. Thanks for chatting with me, Heaven. Of course, man. Anytime. Peace, guys. All right. And so, guys, that's going to end it for this interview. Uh, for more REL content, make sure you guys are checking out the website. We're also going to be on Instagram and Twitter, so make sure you guys keep an ear on uh, the ground for that. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.